Welcome everyone, this is your boy Gerardo Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button or if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Superman YT. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the custom pins. Now this custom pin is developed and made and created by me. And it's my first mod that I actually done for GTA V. Now this mod isn't on GTA 5 mods.com yet. The reason for that because I don't know how to set it up. Now, let me just tell you guys right now, this is my first mod, okay, so I haven't actually uploaded any, so I will learn on how to upload on GTA 5 mods.com, okay, but for now, I'm going to release this mod now, and I will be releasing it on my Discord server. Now, to download this mod, all you gotta do is go inside my description below, and make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that process, then I will leave my Discord server inside my description below. Make sure you go to that link, and now that link will redirect you to my Discord server. You will need to verify that you are human. Once you have done that, then go to the roles channel, and now make sure you select the download roles, so you can unlock the download category. Once you've done that, then keep scrolling down on the side until you see the download categories. Go to the mods downloads and now you'll see it right here. Now you can watch the tutorial video if you want to just to show you how to install it. Now download the mod here and select yes and it will open the media file. Now unfortunately I have already downloaded the mod so I don't need to download it but make sure you download the mod. Once you have finished downloading the mod, then all you gotta do is open up your custom pins extract folder. Now inside that folder, there will be another folder called custom pins. Open up that folder, and now there we go. Now go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now all you gotta do is go to your mods folder, Go to your update folder, go to time 64, and go to your DRC packs folder. Now go back to your extract folder, and select your Vagos fee folder, and drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Now unfortunately I have already got one there, so I'm just going to replace it for the video's sake. Once you have done that, then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And now the next thing that we're going to do is open our Open IV. Go to the Grand Theft Auto V windows. And now next, all you gotta do is go to your edit mode, select yes, then go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, Go to data, scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over the drclist.xml, right click and select edit. Scroll right down to the bottom, then go back to your uh, extract folder and then open up your readme.txt and now go to over here and you'll see the copy the DRC list over here. And now exit out of that and now go back to your application and now paste it over here now unfortunately again I have already got it see 
Vago Ify and Vago Ify over there too. So I'm going to delete it because I have already got it, okay? So I don't need it. Now, once you have done that, then save it, okay? And then now, all you got to do next, okay, is go back to your drclist.xml and double check to see if it's there. And yes, it is. It's right there. Exit out of your application. Now, the next thing that we are going to install is our XML file. Now, I highly recommend you to download and install Menu. You need Menu. This will not work if you don't have that. So, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now, like I said, you do need Menu. So, go to your Menu stuff folder and then go to your output folder. Now, as you can see, I've already got one there, but I'm just going to replace it for the video's sake. So, select your team1.xml file and drag it inside your menu stuff folder, which is your outfit folder, and replace. Then that's all you gotta do. Go back to your Creative Audio V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, and right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you all in the game and we are back as franklin so we are here with franklin and we are going to go and change our pad so to change the pad okay all you got to do is press f8 okay and then go to your player options then go to wardrobe then go to outfits then go to team1.xml and then apply and now there you go pretty cool eh? and that's what she looks like now just to get uh, like a real good view of the whole thing I mean close it up like close up that's what the close up looks like it's pretty awesome um but yeah there is extra clothes too but um unfortunately i i didn't add much clothes so uh yeah go to play options go to wardrobe and go to front view and then you can go over here um the torso there isn't much just that one and yeah so um so I'm very sorry guys, but there isn't much clothes. It's just this one and this one and this one and this one over there and that one. But um, yeah, um, it's decent really for the first time. It's the, it is a good pair. I really like it. So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. Now don't forget, okay, I will be updating the mod with more clothes and etc. So stay tuned. But with that said, okay, the mod still works, okay, and it does work, but I will be uploading it on GTA5mods.com uh, maybe next week, and I will be updating it too. So don't forget, guys, um, if you guys do have any other mods that you need help with, then comment below, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help it on that as well. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.